Gotta. So today we're gonna take a look at, uh, what's the name of this thing again? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Edo Bronze Commander from Tomorrow Kings. This is a, well, from what I know, from what I, what I read in the 3A wiki, basically, is these guys are robots of TKs because in this part of Ashley Woods history is the TKs are uh, becoming fewer and fewer, so they need an alternate a uh, protector type unit so they built these um basically androids or robots of tks now there are different colors there are i think black white and bronze i think there are others as well but i got the bronze because you know i like shiny stuff and the bronze looks way better than the black and white one so this is the box this is the earlier version of 3a boxes um this came out in 2014 so yeah pretty old but pretty cool as well so yeah this is this is the box so with that being said let's take a look at this bronze boy and here's the bronze boy in all his glory now with the earlier releases of 3a figures their ankles are completely useless I don't know why but uh, when the earlier the 3a figures get I mean the earlier versions the weaker <laughs> the ankles be <laughs> So this guy might topple in this review, so please bear with me. So this is him. So you can see he's a pretty shiny boy. You know what? Let's take a closer look at him. Let's, let's do a close up. So here's a closer view of the bronze commander. Now, from what I know, is there the different colors of these um, TK robots differentiate their job titles. So this is a commander type. So he's bronze. I don't really know what the black and white ones do, but they are classified in colors that's what the well i'm gonna put the descriptions in the in the description of this video so if you guys want to take a look at what i mean by that yeah this is him ah got it <laughs> oh dear let's do this let's do this carefully guys no need to rush we got all the time in the world Bear with me. Ooh. Okay. There. So I'm gonna do one slow rotation. And yeah, this is him. Uh, pretty unique figure. I got this uh, at a, from a seller in Singapore. Really nice guy. Very ni very helpful. Uh, very rare for people to help people out, especially those. <laughs> Fucking hell. Especially those you never met before. I asked him if he could get me some stuff from Singapore because the sellers, I I tried to contact the sellers in Singapore and they rarely ship overseas because of, I don't know, imports and all that. And it is pretty hard to pay them as well because we don't have the same banks as they do. But I did um, reach out to this one guy and yeah, he was very helpful. Very nice guy. And you know, I, I got a couple other things from them as well. This is one of them. So, with that being said, let's take a look at him without his shirt. <laughs> and here's the bronze without his um, his shirt. The reason why I wanted him without his shirt because the you could see the bronze does carry out throughout the body and he does have some detail on his chest and all. And I just like the shininess of this this particular figure. It's, it's really nice. Uh, uh, like, see, you see what I mean? They're, his ankles are completely gone, so I have to do this super slow. But you can see, yeah, the bronze does carry out throughout the, the body. And I think I'm going to pose him without a shirt and just have him like this. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the accessories this guy comes with after I finish this one rotation without him falling over again. Come on, buddy, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. There we go. All right, let's take a look at his stuff. Minigun, ammo belt, sword, sword, utility belt, messenger bag, grenade, 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 grenade. And here's the stuff the bronze commander comes with. So let's take a look at his honking minigun here. So, the focus, focus, there we go. So this is the huge minigun the commander has, very nicely weathered. 
Now the plug point here is for the ammo belt. I'll show you guys that in a bit. Yeah, this is very nicely weathered. Nicely painted as well, you could see. All the nice metal painting work. I don't know if you could see it. There we go. It takes a while for this camera to focus. Don't know why I'm trying to fix that as well. Maybe I'll do it manually. So yeah, this is his honking minigun. It's not heavy, but it is kind of, it will unbalance him a bit. So I have to figure out a pose for him. There we go. There it is. Yeah, that's his honking ass big gun. Along with that, of course, is his ammo belt. This is all rubber. It's a rubbery type material, so it does flex, it does bend along with the figure. So no matter how you pose him, this thing will pose with him. Unfortunately, it looks like it's spent cartridges because <laughs> you don't have the points on the bullets. Let's see if I can focus a bit better because they look like nubs, you know? There you go, look like nubs at the end. And the plug points are here to plug it against the gun, against it, with the gun. So here are the plug points, you plug it in with these two nubby bits, nubby bits, nubby bits, nubby bits. So that's his ammo belt. Doo -doo -doo. And of course you got the standard, um, of course, standard, um, TK sword. Let's see if I can do a nice pan here. You got the copper speckling, nice weathering. All you could hope for in a 3A figure, really. And it does. Ugh. Yeah. This is not uh, die cast. This is also plastic. So be careful when you're handling it. Hope this comes out nice on camera because my eyesight isn't as good as it once was. It looks clear here, so hopefully it's clear when I edit the video. <laughs> so yeah, that's one of his swords and you know, the other swords basically the same. And you got his also standard with TK stuff is the utility bag, belt thing, ammo bag, um, whatever bag, grenade bags. If you have a 3A figure, you have 3A bag belt. Very standard stuff with their figures. Do, 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 do. Yep, it hangs like that. So yeah, that's his utility belt. Next we have his messenger bag, which again, it's not, messenger bags aren't standard with 3A figures. It's only like a select few, but you know, it's the same, same material type, same weathering. You, look at that, that's the dirt it has. The weathering. So yeah, that's his messenger bag. I think you store the ammo in here when you plug the gun point in one end and the other end goes in here. And then of course, lastly, you have the 3A grenade. Focusing is on, it's kind of weird on this camera. Hope that comes out nice. There we go. So we got some copper speckling there just to add to the theme of the copper, the copper of the commander, the Edo commander bronze. I think that's his name. That's about it. That's all he comes with. And he does come with a poster, which... Uh, <laughs> which I framed already. <laughs> it took me a while to frame this because when I framed it the first time, it was upside down because I thought he was, you know, had to be right side up. But apparently he's doing a flip when he's doing that. So yeah, he comes with a poster, which I already framed. So yeah, with that being said, let's stick all this junk onto our Bronze Commander. And here's the Bronze Commander, fully loaded. Now this is the most loaded <laughs> 3A figure I ever had. I never had a 3A with this many weapons on him. So using my fancy new camera, let's do a quick zoom. Yeah, look at that. Look at that handsome boy. 
I'm gonna do a slow pan here so you could see the copper, the shine. And I forgot to note that his fingers are individually articulated, but um, since it's an old figure, it kind of broke a bit on me, like some of the parts uh, chipped off. So I would recommend if you are planning to get this guy or the other uh, commander type or the other robotic TKs with the articulated hands, just be careful because they will snap because it's an old figure and you know articulated fingers with this scale doesn't really go well so yeah that's his bullet chain doing a slow pan here yeah that's him this is this is the the bronze commander Edo or Edo bronze commander so I'm going to attempt to swing this guy around and hopefully he will not topple over. If he does, then, well, <laughs> so be it. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. Caught him. <laughs> <sighs> okay, take two. So let's do this slowly. I'm going to rotate you and you are going to behave yourself, please. So this is a 360 view of the Commander Bronze. Just do me one rotation. Just give me one rotation. That's his back. You can see, you know, the detail. It's just, you know, 3A stuff, you know? Weathering, detail, paint work. It's all there. I really like this guy. He's, he's different. Uh, let's do, come on, come on, you can do it. So you can see there, I fed the ammo bag, well, the ammo belt into his um, satchel, his messenger bag. I don't know if that's correct, but it kind of works out, you know? And rotation, done. Okay. So let's do like one more pass of some close-ups. Last close-up here. I forgot to mention, his grenades here are kind of blue. Yeah. I thought they looked gray, but they're no. In this light, they're blue. So you got some tattoo work. Not really tattoo, more like branding, because he's a, you know, he's an android, he's a robot. And there you have it. This is the bronze commander. You know what, let's stick him in another pose, because he looks a little too too overloaded. Let's do a stoic pose. So here's a somewhat stoic pose. I mean, I think for this figure of this age, you need him to have three points of contact with the surface. So I have him, I have that mini gun stabilizing him a bit. So he stands a bit better, unfortunately. I mean, his ankles are gone. His ankles will not help him at all. They're so loose that Standing is just a real problem. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna pose him like this until the end of days. <laughs> I can't really pose him in any dynamic poses. So let's take a gander at him and pop him on the shelf. So final close-up of the bronze commander. Final thoughts? Yeah, nice figure, love him. I don't think I'll get the white or black. I think the bronze is good enough for me. I mean, if there's a gold one, yeah, I might get that one. <laughs> I have a thing with bronze and gold. So you can see the articulated fingers there. Again, please be careful if you are willing to buy this guy because his fingers are, I think they're gone already. I don't think you could pose them because the plastic is old. I mean, mine chipped a bit, a, a bit of his finger chipped away when I was flexing it. And you got his little little shoes, the little sport shoes there. Little robotic sport shoes. So yeah, this is what I'll stick him in. Uh, you know, all shirtless, because I don't I don't really like the shirt on him. I don't really like the shirt on Well the shirt design itself is kind of boring, so might as well have him bare chested. Ready for war. So let's stick this guy on the shelf and see how he looks.
So this is where I'll stick the bronze commander on top of the, well, on top of this top shelf with his other robot and zombie buddies here. Yeah, I, this is the pose I chose him because um, I need him to have three points of contact. So I'm using that gun as a crutch. So yeah, I was really pondering whether or not to get this guy. I was really, really, really thinking of whether or not I should. But I got him and thanks to the Singapore seller for helping me out. He really didn't have to go all the way to get this guy and ship him to me, but he did. I was really appreciative because no way in hell I could get this guy locally. Yeah, tell me what you guys think of this guy, if you guys want. And hopefully this video was helpful, insightful, or interesting. Any of those three. So with that being said, thanks for watching again. And as always, go get them.